Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be making jerk shrimp with pasta. Hello, I am Corey, the owner of Fork and Fly. Come and travel and eat with me. Hello again, I had a taste for some Rasta pasta and I had shrimp sitting now, so I decided, hey, why not use some jerk seasoning? So I added some vinegar. I always wash my seafood fish um, meat with vinegar, especially now where I'm at now. Um, the water isn't the best, so using vinegar is always good. <laughs> What I did, I took off all the shells, even the tips, and deveined all my shrimp. You wanna add some pepper. I didn't put salt on the shrimp, I just did pepper. And now I have my favorite jerk seasoning. This is mild, I can only do mild, I can't do the hot one. <laughs> You want to take about, not even a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon, depending on how much shrimp you're using. A little bit goes a lot, or a little bit goes a long way. Give that a nice, good mix. Now I have this Trader Joe's seasoning. Um, it's like a spicy garlic seasoning. I actually basically put this on <laughs> anything. Um, I really enjoy it. It's not spicy where it's like your mouth is spicy. It's just like a hint of like something garlicky spicy. Take your peppers. I have yellow peppers. I have red peppers and green. Slice them, dice them any way that you choose. At first I was doing them thin and then I decided to do them a little chunky because I didn't want small pieces in my pasta. I wanted actually big chunks that you could see the beautiful colors and stuff. So right now, I'm making them a little bigger, <laughs> cutting them in half. Do y'all like peppers in your food? definitely no professional <laughs> when it comes to knives and cutting. I always said I want to take a, a class on cutting. I have some onions. I love onions. I always try to add onions whenever I cook. It's just something about onions and even garlic. Something I add garlic way more than I add onion to my foods. I actually need a garlic press, but the easiest way without one is to use a knife, um, push on it, and then the leaves just come off magically. Before I didn't, before honestly, I didn't know that you could push on them and the leaves come off. Well, the you know. Um, so I was just pulling, like I hate using garlic. And now, not now, but I discovered how to do it properly. Get you a pot of boiling water. Once it starts boiling, I added some oil to it just so your pasta doesn't stick. 
And I added salt, always salt your pasta. That's how you start off with the flavor and the seasoning. Always salt your water. For the noodles, I did half a bag. That was basically good for two servings. The bag wasn't super big neither. I followed the instructions on the back of the packaging. Give that a nice stir. And now to cook your shrimp, I added about a tablespoon of butter to a hot pan. Let that melt down. To the mix. Give that a nice coating. Also, we're adding the garlic to the mix. But before the garlic, we want to just toss the onions about three to four minutes. Get them nicely coated in the butter. And then we add the garlic later on because we don't want the garlic to burn. Burnt garlic in food isn't the best. <laughs> And bear with me guys because I have a new stove top and it's electric and I'm not used to cooking on electric so ah, it just takes longer for things. <laughs> if you cook with an electric cooktop, let me know in the comments below if you have one and also if you've never cooked with electric, let me know. Cooking this on medium heat. Give it a stir every couple of seconds. And while I'm doing all this, keep in mind that the shrimp that I marinated, they're in the refrigerator sitting there. Now add all your veggies to the mix. Give that a good stir, let everything get cold in that nice butter, let them meet each other, get really acquainted. <laughs> and everything for about, I would say another five minutes or so. And the smell, like just this alone with the onion, We'll start first with the butter, then the onion, the garlic, and the peppers. It just, it smells good already. And now for the star of the show, we've added our seasoned jerk shrimp to the mix. 
I'm getting all the juices and that good stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm, I, 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 like, doing this, like, um, editing this video, I could just smell all of that together. Like, oh, my kitchen was smelling so good. Give that a nice mix. Let everybody get acquainted with each other. Veggies, meat, shrimp. <laughs> So shrimp cooks fast. Uh, it takes about five minutes, six minutes to cook shrimp. So you don't want to cook it too long because we're going to add the cream and stuff, which is going to cook more in the cream. So I cook this for about, I would say three minutes. I'm adding heavy cream. I'm not really measuring it. I'm just eyeballing it. If I have to go back in with a little more, then if I have to go back in with a little more, then I will. But I'm just eyeballing it. Like I always say, cooking is for fun. You just go with the flow. Let that simmer a little bit. I also cut up some green onions. Now you want to season this whole mixture to taste. I'm adding a little more pepper. I'm adding my favorite seasoning, the spicy garlic from Trader Joe's. If you do go to Trader Joe's, get some while you can. Putting some garlic powder in the mix. Can never have too much garlic. Minced garlic, garlic powder. Just go on with it. <laughs> Now I have some cheese. I'm taking some cheddar cheese. Not I'm not putting a whole bunch. I'm just grating right on top. Maybe like if half a cup, maybe one fourth to half a cup just to get it a little more creamier and just add that extra flavor of cheese to it. It's not a cheese dish sauce, so we don't want to do too much. basically cooked and now we're adding the noodles to the pot if you choose to you can add the sauce to the noodles vice versa it doesn't matter this way it was easier for me we want to give that a nice toss coat all the noodles with this delicious jerk shrimp sauce mm. about to plate this bad boy. Mm -mm -mm.
Facebook. Leave a comment below if you're enjoying this video. Are you gonna make this? And finally, just to give an extra layer, I cut up some cilantro, threw that in, gave it a light toss, and we are good to go. That's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching Fork and Fly. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Later.